What's up my friend, welcome back to another Kajabi video. So today I'm gonna to talk about one of my favorite topics and that is related to email marketing. And that is all about um, five different emails that you can send your customers to really give them a great experience and to grow your business at the same time. So these are all super important. These are all the ones that I've been using myself and I think that it will help you. So uh, the first one I wanna recommend is first of all, uh, very, very necessary. And this is to deliver the lead magnet that someone downloads after joining your email list. Very, very important because you wanna give them what they're getting and of course more. But here we are in one of my forms for my lead magnet. So I'm saying after the form is submitted, I want Kajabi to automatically send them an email saying, here's your composer's mindset guide. This is a lead magnet that they just signed up for, right? So I say, it's great to have you. Uh, here's the free guide that you requested. Just click here to download it. And here is exactly where I upload the lead magnet, the PDF, which is hosted on Amazon, I believe, but it takes them directly to the PDF page where they can download it. Super easy, very essential. This is the first essential type of email you have to send because when they download something for free, they expect to receive that, right? So that's how you deliver that uh, value there straight away. And then you can subscribe them to, you know, um, uh, an email funnel and then pitch your products after that. But first of all is making sure you actually deliver what you say. So again, making sure that you create this automation when the form is submitted, then you send them an email. And what is this email saying? Here's the, what you signed up for. And then you just give it to them. It doesn't even have to be hosted on Amazon. You can link them to Google Drive, Dropbox, an unlisted YouTube video, whatever you wanna do, okay? The second email we should be sending is over delivers. I, we kind of just mentioned this already, but like free gifts, things to really sweeten the deal for people already on your email list, really make them feel like this is the place to be. Um, so one example here is for Christmas, when the day Christmas hit, I gave them um, just a, a, an updated version of one of my most popular lead magnets, a PDF guide. So I just said, I wanted to wish you a happy, a very Merry Christmas or happy holidays. Um, here's my Christmas gift to you, a newly updated version of my sample library buyer's guide. And a lot of them thanked me, you know, they were very grateful. They also wished me a Merry Christmas, right? So whatever you can do to just make your people happy and make them feel like it's an exclusive opportunity to be on your email list, um, that's always a good thing. Because yes, you are going to pitch to them. You're going to sell to them, of course, your products and services that are all amazing, but you want to make sure that they also feel like you're not just pitching and you're also delivering free value to them too. So a really good rhythm is three free offerings for every one pitch. So maybe three weeks of the month, you send something free, the fourth week you launch something and then repeat that process over and over if you have multiple things to sell, one per month, okay? So that's email number two. Number three is the onboarding email sequence. Very important because as soon as they sign up for a course, a membership, you wanna make sure that they feel like they're in the right place, they've made a good decision to invest their hard-earned money into your material, and so an onboarding email sequence is the perfect way to do this. So this sequence in particular um, has no sent emails just yet because I haven't launched this product yet. But as soon as someone purchases my product, uh, Virtual Orchestration Mastery Standard, it, when they purchase that offer, they're going to be subscribed to this onboarding email sequence. And you can see my first one is sent immediately after they sign up. So day zero, thank you. And then I say, you're officially in, I'm so excited for you. And then I say, thank you. Watch the welcome video, share one thing you're most excited about in the course. Um, and then, you know, I have a few more days here of telling them what to do. And then the last day just wraps things up and says, thank you again for joining. I'm really excited for you. Let me know if you have any questions and so on. So onboarding email sequences are crucial to give your customer a great experience going through your course, your membership, your coaching, whatever it may be. Number four is a survey. So not only do you want to deliver stuff to your people, but you also want to get their feedback because if you're in the online education business, you're selling courses, memberships, you wanna make sure what you're building is something that they they want and what they need, right? So what I usually do when I set up service is I say, um, I'd love to help you with your composing. So I've put together a short composing survey for you to fill out. It should only take three to five minutes because you wanna respect their time. Um, to really help you understand how I can help you take control of your composing for good. So fill in the blank, whatever your niche is there. And then I incentivize it. So as a thank you gift, I've included a full masterclass of how I produced a Christmas song in an orchestral pop style, which you can get instant access to right after completing the survey. And then I just say, click here to access it right away. And that's it, you know? So I, I ask them to do something, but I don't want them to leave empty handed, right? Because people naturally and I don't mean this in a bad way, but people think about themselves, right? They, they like, yes, if you have super fans and stuff, they're willing to help you. But if people 
have something as a reward on the other side, then they're much more likely to do that thing, right? So in this case, yeah, if I want them to do something, I'm usually always going to incentivize it with something, whether that's another lead magnet, a free PDF, a video workshop, a masterclass, whatever. Um, and this is really scalable too, because it's not like you're offering free coaching sessions that take up a lot of your time. So yeah, just sending them something free that you've already created, already put together is really, really easy. And so number four is the survey. And fifth and finally is the reactivation. So this one is a kind of underestimated actually, but this is especially useful for um, memberships. So when you have members coming in, naturally there's going to be churn, right? People are gonna leave every month, um, every other month, whatever. And because maybe it's just not the right fit for them anymore, or they don't, they can't afford it, right? Whatever it may be. But you can always uh, give them the offer to rejoin and then give them an, uh, a special deal as well. Maybe you want to incentivize it a little bit. So the way I do this is I say, and for my subscribe triggers, I have after someone unsubscribes from my membership crisis composing community, then 90 days after they cancel, then I send them an email saying, we've missed you. And then I kind of send them an email saying, oh, this is what you've been missing. People have been really enjoying it. Here's some testimonials. And I say, if you join, rejoin us this week, I'll, I want to give you a mini course absolutely free. And this is a, a mini course on how I put together my debut album, Freedom. So I tell them what it's all about. And I say, we're all in this together. If you want to rejoin us, check out the details here and grab a discount while you're at it. And that's it. So that's what I do for three days, 90, day 91 and day 92. And essentially it's just giving them that exclusive offer if they want to rejoin us and potentially, um, you know, be, be a part of that community again. It never hurts to, to kind of reach back out and see if there's anything that you could do better or, you know, incentivize them to rejoin if it's a good fit for them again. Um, you don't just want to let them go uh, forever, right? It's, it's worth at least reaching back out and seeing if it's a possibility for them to rejoin you. And it doesn't cost you anything because this is completely automated as well. This is an email sequence that triggers after they cancel your membership or your community. So you can have this set to go off whenever they cancel and that's it. All right. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. Let me know if you, um, or maybe, maybe let maybe let me know which email is your favorite, the ones we talked about today, all five, which one kind of stood out to you and which one do you want to try implementing into your business if you haven't already? I would love to know. And again, if you want to try out Kajabi for yourself and run your online business on this platform, uh, that's a great idea. I want to give you an extended 30 day free trial um, instead of the regular 14 day trial that they give you on their website. Um, if you use my link below ChristopherCU.com slash Kajabi, then you can grab this extended 30 day free trial, absolutely free. And uh, I also want to give you two bonus mini courses. One is called Kajabi in 30 days. And the other one is called content marketing for creatives. So this will help you jumpstart your Kajabi workflow, but also help you with your online business as well. Show you behind the scenes of what I do to make my living, uh, scale my business and put out content into the world for free. And you'll get those as a thank you again for using my link below. Um, just know it is an affiliate link. So if you become a paying member, then part of your payment supports me and the channel, which is greatly appreciated. There's no obligation, but um, if you use my link, you can again, grab that extended trial and those mini courses. So thank you again. I'll catch you in the next video and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.